Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to be talking about what histograms are in digital imagery, how to understand them, as well as how to take full advantage of them. A histogram is a graphical representation that organizes a group of data points into specified ranges. Data points are grouped into logical ranges and represented on a simple bar chart-like visual. Now, before we had digital photography, histograms were pretty much non-existent and photographers had no graphical or visual representation of the tonal range in their image. So it was almost like guesswork. If you're shooting in bright light, then you just pick the film with the lowest sensitivity. And conversely, if you're shooting in low light, you'd use higher sensitivity film. Photographers had to wait till they were in the dark room to really gauge their tonal range. In the digital age, you can just use your histogram. And lucky for you, almost every single digital camera that takes photos has one. A histogram would typically look like this. The x-axis can be divided into five major sections, blacks, shadows, midtones, highlights, and whites. The y-axis, on the other hand, represents the number of pixels that are in a given tonal range. The midtones on the histogram represent 18% gray, which should give you perfect white balance and exposure. An image that is said to be exposed to the right, like this one, will have a histogram that looks like this. Notice how the graph has some colored areas. This is because this is a color image. Besides the background being black and white, the girl is actually in color. So the histogram of this image will have a luminance histogram in gray, which shows the brightness, as well as three other RGB histograms. This image, on the other hand, is said to be exposed to the left. From the histogram, we can see that majority of the pixels are in the shadow to dark areas with very few pixels in the highlight to white range. A high contrast image will have a histogram that looks like this. You can see that we have a considerable amount of pixels that are in the highlight to white areas as well as in the shadow to black parts. Lastly, this image is neutrally exposed or has low contrast. The histogram shows that we don't really have a lot of pixels in the highlight to white areas as well as shadow to black areas. It's exposed in the middle. So why are histograms useful? Well, if you're out in the field and you're trying to judge your exposure, there are a couple of things you can use to do that. Firstly, you can use your eyes to see if the image is over or underexposed in the camera live view. You can also use your exposure meter to make sure your image is at zero EV, or if you want to be more precise, you can actually use a histogram. Histograms can allow you to brighten up your shot without clipping your highlights, which occurs when the bright parts of your image get brighter beyond the acceptable range and turn to complete white, resulting in loss of usable information. In video, this can be particularly useful because cinematic picture profiles are very difficult to correctly expose. If you use your eyes in the live view or the exposure meter, you'll always be under the impression that your footage is overexposed due to the flat nature of log gamma profiles. The resulting video that has been exposed by exposure meter or what looks right to your eyes on the display will be heavily underexposed when you apply a LUT and start color grading. By using a histogram, you can really push your exposure without ever clipping your highlights so that your footage gets an adequate amount of light which will give you the correct exposure in post-production. And in photography, a histogram can really go a long way when getting the right tonality. In a high contrast situation, a histogram can help you keep your tones within the acceptable range so that you do not get any clipping and loss of data. So there you have it folks, that is how your histogram works in a nutshell. I really encourage those of you that take pictures and shoot video to always keep an eye out for your histogram. The idea is to keep your luminance values within the acceptable range of the graph for the best results. I have never missed the right exposure when shooting using a histogram and that is for both photos and video. It's a very useful graph that you should get yourself accustomed to because it is one of the most reliable tools for exposing your image. Thanks for watching and I hope that this video has been useful to you. Please leave a like or a comment and don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as turn on notifications for more videos like this. Catch you folks in the next one.